road closed isn't for me. My delivery's just up here. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's already looking like a Monday. Okay, no, not our road. We're going off to the right. Uh, I think we're in Friesville, Pennsylvania, something like that. Oh, there's a Friesville Road. Um, we're delivering to a little factory, not even a factory, but a workshop. Probably an Amish workshop would be my guess. It looks like they make steel barn accessories and stuff like that. This is the uh, the bulk of the stuff, the big sheets, and then we'll just have those those two wheel pallets that were left over. Those will go over to um, the other place, and I think it's Leola, Pennsylvania. So, anyways, here's where we are. Yeah, it looks like we got an Amish family that works here, so that's pretty cool. But uh, I'm going to park right here and I guess figure out where they might want me. Obviously, only Monday. We got loaded up over in um, Sparrows Point, Maryland, basically Baltimore. Uh, I was told that it was going to be six pallets of um, six palletized coils. Is what I was told. Uh, it turned out to be only six pallets of steel sheets. Basically, exactly what we hauled earlier this morning. So that's what we picked up. We got there at about 1.15. Got loading right away. Rolled out of there at about 2.15. So let me, I gotta fix that door sometime. Let me show you what we got. So we're sitting probably 20 feet of these sheets so i don't know how much we saw in the time lapse before the camera died but there's three straps on each um and yeah it's just it's there <laughs> so i was also told it'd be about just shy of twenty three thousand pounds paperwork says it's only twenty thousand one hundred so that's nice all right i need to ramp for a little bit hopefully that camera angle works because the other one's dead um So, there's been something that's been going on that's been driving me absolutely nuts these past couple weeks. And that's the whole, oh, we can't use that truck. We can't do this. We can't do that. They won't do this. They won't do that. You can't tell I'm a little mad right now. 
now because I just had another conversation on a load that won't work because they can't load this truck. So, load popped up. It was a single coil reel, like, a, a, you know, those big spools with, like, conduit cable and stuff like that. Okay. I've hauled those things many times. There was one of them that was loaded. It was, like, a full reel. It was, like, 8 feet tall, 12,000 pounds, whatever, picking up literally 20 miles away from where I am today. And it's going out to, like, Little Rock or some, something like that. Anyways, I call on it. He's like, yeah, this is work. Yeah, yeah, this is what it is. I'm like, okay, cool. And he asks, the trade question, which I'm starting to hate more and more, and that's, what kind of equipment do you have? Now, keep in mind, this load was posted for a hot shot. And I told him, I was like, it's a 25-foot flatbed straight truck. It's dock high air ride, scales 23,000 pounds. He's like, hold on, it's, it's a box truck? I was like, no, it, it's a flatbed straight truck, you know, open deck straight truck. Doesn't carry a trailer or anything like that. He's like, I don't understand. I'm like, it's just a one truck with a flatbed on it. He's like, oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. We, they can't load that. Sorry, thanks for calling. And then hangs up. It's like, excuse me for saying this, but why the fuck not? I've been getting this so much now that it's honestly really starting to make me mad. All last week, I think there was one day I was calling on stuff. One day I had six people say, oh no, we can't use that truck. Why not? Someone say why. It's a flatbed. You know, it's the same thing as what a hot shot trailer is. It's the same thing as what a freaking 48 foot semi trailer is. Why is it considered to be different? Now, one of the reasons why I'm getting this whole we can't use you is because people consider this truck a hot shot. I hate that term now. It's not a hot shot. If you ask people what a hot shot is, they go, oh, it's a pickup truck and a trailer. Does this look like a pickup truck and a trailer? No. I just, I'm tired of being declined good loads that this truck can safely and efficiently haul. Especially when I've hauled that product before. It's freaking mind blowing. And it's one of the major struggles I face with this truck is that reason there. Now I'm sorry for getting mad, but it's honestly getting on my nerves. Why is it God damn it, I need the right lane? <laughs> ah. I have to wrap up my angry point there. I just I don't get why. I just I don't get it. I understand that some shippers have bad experiences with whether it be a hot shot or a straight truck or whatever. But I have a feeling a lot of the people that I call, when they ask for the equipment type and I say straight truck, their mind instantly goes to a box truck. And if I say no, it's a flat bed, an open deck, they still go, straight truck. Oh, that's a box truck. We can't use that. It's, it's, it's so stupid. Because just about every time, if they actually ask for a picture of the truck, and I send one to them, they look at it and go, oh yeah, we could use that, no problem. That's not a big deal. I was thinking something else. And so, I get that a lot of brokers also are constantly getting phone calls left and right. They don't want to be sitting there, you know, trying to deal with me, trying to explain what type of truck this is. But, uh, I don't know. It just, it drives me nuts. And then I hate being considered a hot shot because unfortunately, there's way too many bad apples in the hot shot industry and people don't want to use them anymore. And even though I'm not a hot shot, I get roped in with that term and I lose out on way too much work because of that. So, whatever, that's my rant. It's just, that last phone call I had about 15 minutes ago, it just, it really made me mad. Hang up on me because you don't understand what type of truck I drive. So, middle finger to you. Hold on when you need a friend I'll never let you go again 
reach out when your mind's uneasy Cause I'll understand Hold on when you need a friend I'll stay here to the end Get up, don't hang your head We'll take it step by step Fell inside Now I'm living in a matchbox Needed was a little spark Give me my heart back Cause somebody stole it And put it in your hand Give me my heart back Cause somebody stole it And put it in your hand Give me my heart back Cause somebody stole it And put it in your hand So here's our load we just picked this up over here in baltimore ohio this one was an interesting job because i had to load over there in that trash pile as you saw but they have those trailer locks that hook into the back bumper of a trailer and my bumper is not compatible with those um basically i just smash into them and they don't move especially with my hitch on here so i don't know if you could tell but the rear end sitting a little bit higher than normal um i had to crawl under there and disconnect the leveling valve and basically air the airbags all the way up i don't know how well you can see but they're fully extended at the moment um and then that wasn't even enough i had to drive it onto some four by fours to get it to get, uh, get up the rest of the way and clear that so anyways this thing here i have no idea what it is or what it's used for it's old has something to do with trash very old if someone knows let me know it looks like a giant drum i don't know if it uh filters out stuff that falls into it or something but yeah i gotta clean up all that but anyways i gotta crawl under there rehook up the airbags you know what's funny is this is the ride height that the truck should be at let's come over here see how it sits pretty much level that's the way the truck should sit but unfortunately it doesn't so it's whatever um yeah but anyways, I hate this door. 
But anyways, I'm gonna get this chain down, get the um, air suspension re-hooked up. We're gonna get out of here. We're taking this to Cincinnati. Short run, pays good, and um, should be no issues. Should be. And then uh, we'll find something down there and go wherever that goes. So, all right, talk to you later.